Ho, 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 ho. Merry Christmas. You're listening to the Never A Straight Answer Christmas Conspiracy Calendar. New episodes every day during the month of Christmas. And here's your hosts, Gaz and Taylor. Yo, yo, yo. Yo, yo, yo. Ho, ho, ho. ho Merry ho, ho. Christmas to y'all. Yeah, boys and girls. Episode number seven of our Never a Straight Answer Christmas calendar. Christmas conspiracy calendar. Yeah. We've got any conspiracies? We've, not, we've been lacking on the conspiracies. I think lot. we have, yeah. <laughs> so far. More facts. It's been it? more kind of bit of Christmassy stuff, bit of facts, yeah. bit of whatnot. But this is it. We've got all month, man. We, we can do what we like. Well, we're we in now. charge here. <laughs> None of this. We'll be fucking putting on the naughty list. Yeah. Ooh, ooh. I think I'm already on it. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> so go on. What have you got for me? So you've got something a bit satanic, haven't you? Uh, yeah, I have. Are you going to come up with that bit later? I'm going to do that second. I'll come up with this one first. Uh, using a computer in the dark. Uh, will not <laughs> will cause masturbation affect your eye vision at any point it and might, I, well, also, is that why you wear glasses I thought I wondered why you well, wore my, glasses my gran used to tell me don't, don't touch that it'll fall off yeah. and too much of that will cause make you blind yeah yeah. so you know what I mean yeah, yeah so when you, you say too much mu- listen when a headline starts um, using your using computer, computer in the dark, dark yeah. it definitely cause it leads, day, right, leads to masturbation <laughs> Anyway, go on, right. Well, so you'll be all right. In right. The What's morning. the fact? What's the fact? Come on. Um, right. Merry well, Christmas. doesn't have any uh, long-lasting effects on your vision. See, I changed my monitor because uh, what they say is blue light makes you um, alert, so it's yeah. kind of more like your. Um, it kind of affects you in that way where you feel like you're awake. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, like, they use it in kind. Of, in fact, I've seen it in sci-fi movies as well, where they because obviously you, you get disorientated with day and night yeah. on um, a spaceship. Yeah. yeah. So they kind of put night hours as blue light, and then, um, like, you know, um, orange light more yeah. at the night time. Sort yeah, of yeah. Thing. I'll say. So yeah. Say. Well, here's what here's a, a a funny weird fact for you. That every single barcode in the world, no matter where it is or who you got it from, has six 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 in it. Six six six, the mark, the number yeah, of the, the beast. Or is it because there may be an argument that it's actually six one six? You see, six six six. I've heard that there's a variation on this number of the beast. Yeah, but is it? See, to do with I was looking Greek as soon as you told me that. I started reaching for things and going, "All right, let's have a look. What's the barcode yeah. saying?" And um, would well, you see no, the two lines at the beginning? It's not in there. It doesn't say it. Obviously, it doesn't say it. Right. So go on. The two lines right. at the beginning. Two lines at the beginning. Yeah. Two lines at the end. Right. Right. They're six and six. Now look in the middle of your barcode where the numbers are. Yeah. And there's w- one with two lines, isn't there? Oh, there's loads of lines. No. Right there, in between. All right, right yeah, look at yeah, the numbers, yeah, yeah. So that's another six. That's the other six. And it's to actually separate. So who come up with this? Uh, a company called uh, GS1. And what their, what's their affiliation with the old Lucifer? Uh, well, they're saying it's just to split up um, the, the barcode numbers because um, at the end you should have a seven because it's a double check. And at the beginning you have uh, the first three numbers, which is which country it come from. Right. Uh, then you have uh, the other numbers, where it, it, which company it come <clears> from. I remember I had a thing called the Barcode Battler. Where you'd barcode ca- Battler? Yeah, it was like a, th- a thing where you'd scan barcodes and it'd give you power-ups. It was a game. Okay. Yeah, it was no, quality. No, yeah, no, but now you've said that, it makes me think that it has more sinister overtones. There is a lot you know of I mean? information in it. Oh, yeah. there you go. Yeah. Ba- uh, check out your barcodes, kids. Something yeah. to do over Christmas, isn't it? When yeah. you get all your new ties. Yeah, don't, go don't with Archer, right? I'm just going to... What are you doing? What are you doing, Johnny? Yeah. I'm just counting the, um, the, the 666s on this barcode, Mum. Yeah, there's only three of them, mate. Oh, well, there you go. There you go. Well, there you fact. go. That's the um, day seven of our Christmas conspiracy calendar. Oh, yeah. One week over. One week Another done. week to come. We'll catch you for um, another episode tomorrow. You will. Oh, 
It's very Christmassy, isn't it? Yeah. Anyway, we'll catch you next time. I've been Gaz. I've been Taylor. Merry Christmas. Peace. Out. Take it, you Oh, I like them. You've been listening to an episode of Never A Straight Answers Christmas Conspiracy Calendar. I've been your host, Gaz, and joined in the studio, my co-host, Mr. Taylor. If you've got any questions, comments, or suggestions, you can email us at neverastraightanswer at gmail.com or perhaps visit the website at neverastraightanswer.co.uk. From there, you can check out downloadable episodes, news, blogs, reviews, competitions, and much, much more besides. We'll be counting down the Christmas season with a new episode every day in our Christmas conspiracy calendar, plus a very special freestyle episode on the 21st of December where we'll be answering your Christmas questions. So, if you've not subscribed already, get over to wherever you get your podcast fix and do just that, and we'll catch you on the very next episode of Never A Straight Answer. I've been Gaz, he's been Taylor, and we'll catch you next time. Peace. The podcast you just heard was made using Anchor. Ever thought about making your own podcast? Anchor makes it really easy for anyone to get started. It's a one-stop shop for recording, hosting, and distributing podcasts. Best of all, it's 100% free. Sign up now at anchor.fm slash new. That's anchor.fm slash new to get started.